I got really excited about dessert and then like nothing else happened in my brain. Hello, Sola here and welcome back to my kitchen. And once again, I'm gonna have one hour and one secret ingredient to make a dinner and dessert. If you saw the last episode, I made a Korean barbecue spread using Oreos. From that experience, I learned that an hour is really fast. I ended up going over time. So my goal today is to stay in time. But you know, who knows what happens when I see the ingredient. You said it's not breakable, right? Candy bars? Otter pops? Hot dogs! <laughs> Fantastic ingredient. String cheese. I mean, I love, I love string cheese. I already know what I want to do for dessert immediately. So I want to make kanafe or kunafe. Ham! What's the proper pronunciation for kanafe? Kanafa. Kanafa? That's what we're going to have for dessert. String cheese. Whoa, this is a good one. So dessert, we're going to make Kanafa. So the, the, the dough that it's made with is called katayaf. We, we need to have pop-ups for people pronouncing things properly. So you've got, you, you mix this dough that's like really shreddy and fine with ki, and then you press a layer of it into a tin, then you add your cheese, and then you press another layer of it, and you bake it, and then it comes out, you flip it over, you cover it in syrup and pistachios, and it's so delicious. Okay, so dinner. Should we just make a cheesy gordita crunch? Let's make like a a, a shawarma-ish inspired thing, but instead of the chicken, we'll sear the string cheese in a cast iron so like one side gets crispy and the other side is chewy. I think it would be cool to smear the sticks of cheese in the yogurt marinade and then load it up in a warm pita with some pickled veg and some like cucumbery sauce. That sounds really tasty, right? Can I do this in this amount of time? So grocery shop is going to be really quick. I think that the challenge here is we're going to eat a lot of cheese. Do they not have cucumbers? Just one pickle? Let's get one pickle. They have something called Arabic 7 spice. Okay. It has black pepper, paprika, cumin, clove, nutmeg, cinnamon, cardamom. You think I can use this? Yeah, you can use that. We just got back from the store. Didn't need too many things. Couldn't find cucumber at the bodega. Um, so we went with one dill pickle. It's great. This is what we're gonna use to season up our shawarma-ish thing. And uh, we needed to meet the minimum at the bodega so we have some soft licorice. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> so my goal with this episode is to finish in 50 minutes to make up for the last episode. Let's do some <laughs> eyeballing. So when you make key, you simmer the butter to cook out all of the water, and then you pour off the clarified fat, leaving the milk solids behind. Okay, I think everybody is nicely coated. Let's divide this in half, top and bottom. Oh yeah, we're cutting the cheese. Okay, 10 minutes have elapsed. Give it a little smushy smush. Oh, syrup! You don't want it to be just like a simple syrup one-to-one. -one. You want it to be cooked down so that it's nice and thick and most of the moisture has cooked out of it. Let's work on a tahini sauce. Tahini, lemon juice, garlic, water. If you want to get crazy, you can make green tahini sauce, put it in the blender with some herbs. Should we do that? Blender's in the closet. See, it's just like chocolate. It like thickens into a paste when you add a small amount of liquid, which is confusing because you're like, wait, but I added liquid. And then it thins back out again. It's pretty good. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, when I grate ginger, I don't bother peeling. I feel like the grater takes care of it. Okay, let's marinate our string cheese. I think I have too much yogurt on here. Whoops. And in the meantime, I guess we make our salad. String cheese is delicious. It's better than just mozzarella. It's got a little bounce, a little spring. A little string in its step. Mm-hmm. How much time do I have? 15. Probably 17. 17. You trying to short me on my time? This is for the 50 minute limit, right? Yeah. Okay. 
All right, maybe this is the only way to get me to finish in an hour. <laughs> I know, Clementine. Let's get our one pickle. Okay, salad, done. That looks good. Doesn't that look vibrant? <laughs> That's not brown yet. Let's see our cheese. Interesting. <laughs> We shall turn that off. Oh, oh, I forgot. We'll do a combo orange blossom carawa. If you go overboard with that stuff, it tastes like soap. Let's flip. Finish syruping this. Add a little pistachio. I don't... Oh. How do I make that stop? Ooh, fancy. I've got some gold leaf, should we bust it out? <laughs> I have this leftover from my pastry chef days. So now we're going to assemble our sandwich. Let's shove our sticks in here. We freaking did it! We're on time, maybe I shouldn't make 10 things. Our pickly salad, tahini sauce. They are hot and sloppy. The little pita pockets. Huh? Huh? Okay, well, now I guess I'll clean up. Hang out with us. Yeah, join the tasting. This is our string cheese meal. Okay. So we have a string cheese shawarma. Whoa, you know shawarmas are my favorite food. I know. And we have a salad made with one dill pickle from okay. the bodega. And we got a little tahini sauce, all in a warm pita. What more can you ask what for? What more can you ask for? What more can you ask for? I think it tastes delicious. I just wish I could get it in my face easier. Mm -hmm. Or I could get more of it in my face at the same time. My oh. assembly was not good. Sauce should have gone in first. After hard sear, and the cheese ended up being good. It worked. Because it kind of feels like more meaty. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good vegetarian mm -hmm. alternative. It's, it's really good. It's really, really good. No one's going to believe this. This is one of the things I'll... Once you pick it up, you can't really put it down. You gotta just keep eating. Mm -hmm. Well, you put it down and see what happened. So this is my dry cheese salad sauce. You nailed it. And now the main event, the real main event. And then this is also true to fo photo. Wow. Exactly the same. Stuff with the stuff on top. I even went a little wild with the gold leaf. You went crazy. So as soon as I saw string cheese, this was my first thought. I mean, this is the greatest cheese dessert on earth surpasses any kind of cheesecake that you Oh could yeah, think of. cheese it Come on. Makes it look silly. Cheesecake is silly next to this. And so. cheese plates for dessert. It's a great way to disguise string cheese. Mhm. Mm you can't even tell. I would totally do this again, but I wouldn't use string cheese. I would just use part skin mozzarella. Ideally or cowie cheese. Oh yeah. If we can well, find I mean, that. Uh, yeah, in ideally, there. yes. <laughs> I didn't think about how long it would take to open the packages. Yeah. If you don't have a child there are better cheeses for adults to eat than string mm -hmm. cheese. Yeah. 